February 28, 2001, a magnitude 6.8 earthquake shook near Olympia. It damaged several buildings, including the state capitol, causing billions of dollars in damage. Before that, there was the spring break quake of 1993 near Scotts Mills. There was bottles falling and hitting me, and uh, I didn't know what it was. We thought it was like a truck hit the back of our store. That one was smaller, a magnitude 5.6, but still strong enough to send cans and bottles tumbling off store shelves and crack buildings. That same year, a pair of earthquakes, magnitude 5.9 and 6, struck near Klamath Falls. All memorable earthquakes. But that was then. If it seems things have quieted down lately, it's because they have. We have not had as many earthquakes larger than magnitude 4 during the last decade. University of Washington seismologist Steve Malone recently analyzed the number of magnitude 4 or stronger earthquakes over the last five decades in Oregon and Washington. He discovered this past decade had roughly half as many of the larger quakes as each of the previous decades, while the number of smaller quakes stayed about the same. This could be just part of the random process or it could actually be related to the, the way stresses build up within the earth. And uh, at this point, uh, the, the jury's out. But Malone is quick to point out the lack of large quakes does not mean more stress is building up in our Earth's crust than normally would, and that a major quake is about to break. It's a fallacy that small earthquakes relieve the stress that's building up. It's building up no matter what, until you really get a very, very large earthquake. As for when that large quake will happen and this lull will come to an end, Malone says it will likely be sooner than later. It could last another 50 years, maybe, but more likely not. <laughs> My feeling is that there will be a, a, a larger, a felt, possibly damaging earthquake, uh, certainly before I've totally retired. But with no significant shaking over the last decade, it's pretty easy for people to forget. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we are living in earthquake country. In a way, it's sort of unfortunate to some degree that we have this law in that people don't get reminders. In California, where there's a bit more activity, Everyone sort of gets that reminder now and then. Does anyone really need to do anything differently? No, but you always need to be prepared. That's sort of the, the, the message that uh, we like people to finish up with. 